uh, okay. flew in the embassy to, uh, from Tel Aviv to uh, Jerusalem. And I got so much stuff on that kind of stuff, but uh, we never we didn't get to get into the deep stuff. Well, here we go. This is uh, my first live stream to YouTube, and I think it's going to shoot uh, sideways, unlike the Facebook Live. So we have, uh, of course, Brand Thornton here, Shofar Man, and uh, this is Paul. Yeah, hey, Paul Bliss. Let me, let me help you. He's a cowboy poet. Now, I've got some YouTube video from back in 2014 when he was up there, and uh, I, I like what you say, how, how you say what you say. Let's put it that way. Thank you. What have you been doing these last few years then? Well, I'm just running cows. Yeah? Where do you run cattle at? Well, in Utah. Uh -huh. And then uh, I have a livestock transportation business. We have cattle all over the western United States. Well, that smell, that, what they say about that smell, smells like money? Smells like money. <laughs> yeah. Get it on your clothes, it looks like money. Well, you know what? I've neglected to find you on the internet, and I will uh, do that. And uh, when I get back and add description, I'll, I'll put the, some links up in here. Uh, and of course, Brand here, he, he's uh, ever faithful. From uh, I, I've been looking at past videos, and uh, we see you all throughout the years, um, standing there in Dunkerville in 2014, of course. And uh, I, I'm sure proud to know y'all. I've met a lot of great people here. There's uh, this stand that we're taking. Um, I, I think a lot of people don't really get the full impact of uh, what's going on up in here. Well, for me, it's a labor of love. There's nothing I'd rather be doing, and there's nothing more important to be doing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's an opportunity for me, and, and uh, you know, I relish it, actually. Uh, I was interviewed by KSL last year. I wanted to know why I was doing what I was doing, if I was afraid, or I said, no. I go, well, do you actually enjoy this? I go, I love this. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting some shots of your buttons. But, uh, some heroes, I'll tell you. And Clivens, that, that really says a lot that he uh, he's not taking any terms. Yeah. It really does. Would you give us a short poem? Well, I don't know if I can do one that's uh, presentable for YouTube. <laughs> uh well, back in 1975, I got a chance to take a trip to a hotel in Hawaii on a sunny, sandy strip. It was my first time to the island. Shoot, I seldom got to town, yet I was there in paradise. The plane had just touched down. I pulled on my old boxer shorts that I'd brought from home, pulled on my boots and cowboy hat, started into Rome. I headed for the ocean shore where the bright bikinis gleamed. Oh, sights like I ain't never seen. At least, why, since I'd been weaned, I paraded up and down the beach provoking many stares, but the women just ignored me like I wasn't even there. But then, by chance, a guy I met said, well, maybe I can help. I've got women all around me. I'd be glad to share the wealth. First, trade in those old boxer shards for a Speedo that's too small. <laughs> Lose the boots and cowboy hat, because I don't wear them here at all. And then, for a final touch, like he thought of it as later, once you get that speedo on, you might drop in a tater. <laughs> and then, my friend, the drought will end. Women will come flocking. No longer by your lonesome self on this beach you'd be walking. Well, hell, I couldn't hardly wait to try my newfound friend's advice. And sure enough, next morning, I was out there strutting nice. No hat, no boots, my speedo on. Yet I was still a bust. The women, well, they noticed me, but turned then in disgust. Well, what went wrong? What did I do? I asked my newfound friend. <laughs> I only wanted to attract a few, but it appears I did offend. Well, there's one more thing I might suggest to help you with your hunt. Well, if I was you, I believe I'd move that tater to the front. <laughs> I knew that was coming, I did. <laughs> That's good, thank you, Paul. Uh, I think they really do got some cowboys in Hawaii, though, don't they? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, they got some good working ranches over there. Well, I've got cowboy credentials back in Arkansas, and I can give reference. All right. <laughs> yeah, over in Hawaii, they, well, they ship them over here in containers. They don't finish them in Hawaii. They ship them over here as five, six, seven weights in containers on the ocean. You see these big uh, 
container boxes, mm -hmm. and they cut holes in them, and they have bars, and they feed and water them in them, and then they ship them over here, and then they load them on trucks and bring them into the in California, and unload them and rest them, and then they ship them out. Sometimes they'll go up, like to Durango on grass for the summer, oh, okay. and then go to the feedlots All right. and yep. finish them out over here in the Corn Belt up in Nebraska, the Panhandle, Texas, and Kansas. You heard of the chuck wagon races back in Clinton, Arkansas? I have not. We'll I have heard to look them Kessel boys from Arkansas are they're pretty handy mule guys over that way. Oh yeah, what's your name again? Kessel, Johnny Ke Kessel. Okay, I'll have to look him up. Dan Oaf and his wife Peggy uh, have the Bar Oaf Ranch back in uh, Clinton. They have uh, national chuck wagon races every year in the, in the fall. It's uh, Labor Day in the fall, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I always mix up Memorial Day and Labor Day. Um, they got a Facebook page too. Anyways, thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. You bet. And uh, thanks for uh, you guys for being my first uh, live to YouTube. There you go. All right, folks. In uh, viral. Yeah, Miss uh, <laughs> Miss B. Stacy is going to be picking this up, I do believe. And I really appreciate all the work that she's doing. She and, does uh, a lot of good yes. Work. And Jay Grady yes. and Valley Forge Network. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well, I come, uh, I should have took the bu first bus or 30 minutes beforehand. So I got here at 8.15 and folks started coming in. Uh, so we'll be here for uh, any more updates. Thanks for listening and we'll be back more later.